Social media is a breeding ground for misinformation. That's why the Verify team is here to get the facts. Welcome to all. On Wednesday, the Senate held a confirmation hearing for David Chipman. That's Biden's nominee for the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives, better known as the ATF. In response, this photo started circulating online, claiming to show Chipman posing in front of the aftermath of the Waco siege of 1993. So let's verify. Is this David Chipman in this photo? And what role did he play in the Waco siege? First, here's some background. On February 28, 1993, ATF agents raided a compound near Waco, Texas, of a religious group called the Branch Davidians. After a shootout left four ATF agents and six Davidians dead, a 51-day siege began. It finally ended on April 19th, when a series of fires broke out on the compound, killing 76 people, including 25 children. A horrifying ordeal, but was Chipman involved? According to the ATF, Chipman did respond to Waco. However, he arrived on May 2nd, 1993, which was two weeks after the deadly siege came to an end. I was directed to report to Waco in May of 1993. In his Senate testimony, Chipman confirmed the timeline and said his role was to investigate what happened at the siege. And one of the reasons I was selected is because I had no involvement in the actual case that was being examined. As for that photo? This is not me. Uh, it is, in fact, a real photo uh, that comes from the time of Waco. It has a stamp on it that showed that it was evidence. Uh, but during the course of the investigation, I interviewed all of the ATF agents uh, at Waco, and that is not an ATF agent. The ATF confirmed, quote, the photograph you referenced is not Mr. Chipman. So we can verify that false. David Chipman is not in that photo. And while he was in Waco, it was weeks after the deadly siege ended. With your verify, I'm Evan Kozlov.